always was, always will be. To me, I think it's just all based around Australia, that it always has been traditionally owned, but now it's NAIDOC is celebrated of closing the gap and uh, becoming one with, with everyone together, together as one. My name is Rose Lovelock. I've had 25 years out at university prior to coming here. Worked extensively in Aboriginal jobs within the town. I am the acting director of the Aboriginal Culture Centre and Keeping Place. When people ask me to do Welcome to Country, if this is a regional facility, then it belongs to all those 12 to 14 groups that live on the tablelands. So I often do not do that. I often just say, welcome home. Because to the groups that I deal with, um, this is to represent their cultural knowledge and their cultural aspirations, yeah. I think my involvement with NAIDOC has often been about um, how do you represent what community is feeling or what is happening in community that can be transferred verbally out there to people that don't have that access to our communities. Look, we've been through a lot this year and I think that together we've all felt it. Everybody's felt the restraints on everything to do with our humanness. What I've experienced is the lack of Aboriginal voice in that discussion, in the fires, in the floods, in the drought, we, the, I don't know if I did see an Aboriginal person on TV talking about it. And that, that annoyed me. It annoyed me because I didn't have to go too far to see the devastation that it caused within our communities. A lot of the artwork coming out now is just reflecting the level of impact that the previous, uh, what, three to six months has really caused in the Aboriginal communities. I hope to see the old concept of always was, always will be on the table as a priority article for us to examine, for all of us to examine, because I think always was, always will be, it, is, it goes down in our history. is about humanness, is about respect for each of us, is about how do we make sure that our humanness can be understood outside of our communities. I think it's a great time for everybody to get together, remember who we are, remember where we're from, how strong we are, celebrate, celebrate Aboriginal lives. I think it's still important, yeah, to do hold something later where people can get together because that's important in our community is getting together and supporting each other. Hey, happy NAIDOC week, get out there, learn about culture, do some exciting things, or take part in all the activities and enjoy a fantastic week. Theme says it all, always was, always will be. I'm passionate about who I am and my culture and um, it's something that I can talk to people about, not just NAIDOC week but any time. We have the honour of standing on Adawan country. Always was, always will be. A week full of celebration, just to learn more about our Indigenous culture history for our kids and for the generations yet to come. NAIDOC means to me celebrating all of Aboriginal culture across all the nations across Australia. In that week, it's fun and it's just great having to know more history and learning it. Always was and always will be. Always was, always will be. For me, NAIDOC Week is the diverse community of Australia all coming together to celebrate Indigenous culture. And at this time, I reflect on my partner and her family. Always was, always will be. Always was, always will be. Always was, always will be. Always was, always will be.